Hey, hey, I'm Michelle. And I'm Ronald. And this is Talking Squirrels. A middle school ministry podcast. Hey, Michelle, you've got some good news for everybody. I do. This is really fun and exciting for me. Uh, But I officially graduated with my master's. Woohoo! Master What's up? You can be Master Michelle now. I am Master Michelle Anderson. Will will you start requiring your middle school students to call you Master Michelle? One hundred percent. I think you should. <laughs> yes, especially during games, they have to call me Master. Uh, yeah. I just, you know, when you can, why not? Master of ceremonies, Master of games. You should totally rock that. Absolutely, I'm gonna get a shirt made. Oh. Maybe a hat. We'll see. Oh, that would be awesome. <laughs> right. Like, I'm thinking, like, Master Michelle and then, like, a little talking squirrels thing down at the bottom. We could make that. <laughs> could make so that. good. That could be fantastic. Um, so, I mean, you, you've you been working on this thing for a while, and you're, yeah. you're done, which is great. It feels so good. I'm bored now, but it's great. <laughs> so bored now that I don't have to study uh, relentlessly. I kind of miss it. Well, well. I take that back. I don't miss that. I was going to call you on that one. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I miss, yeah, I miss having something to do. Well, and that's the thing. So like once you get done with school, magically that time will fill up and you're like, wait a second. I had, I thought I had all, was going to have all this free time. Why, where's all this going? Where did it go? Right. So now you get to watch your husband study. I know. Mm. He's doing great. I keep cheering him on. Good. Cheer, hey, being a cheerleader, that will take time and it'll be worthwhile. Right. That's what I keep telling him. When he tells me to stop, and I'm like, "All right, <laughs> leave, leave me alone." I'm <laughs> like I'm studying. That's hilarious. Uh, Michelle, are you guys okay? First off, does it feel like fall in California yet? Absolutely not. Mm. It is a great 81 degrees outside right now. The sun is shining. So does it's not, summer. It's 100 percent still summer here. Does not feel like fall at all. No. I mean, the students are back in school. Right. So it's like, we know it's fall, but definitely does not feel like it. Mostly because everyone like still travels on the weekend Mm -hmm. because it's it's so nice. And everyone's like, yeah, I went to the lake or I went here. Mm. Uh, You said it's 81 over there? Okay. It looks like San Antonio is rocking a nice 91 right now. Ooh. Not too different. Ooh. That's hot. It is hot, but it's it's beginning to like the lows are not in the 90s at night. That's, That's nice. Mm. So like we're like, ooh, 78 at night. This is amazing. Oh, my gosh. It's that so sounds hot. awful. It's so hot in San Antonio. It's great. That's rough. But it's hot. No, it, it'll start feeling like fall sometime around December in San Antonio. <laughs> That's mostly when we have our that, fall. Wow. Okay. Yeah. We'll it's, start like October is usually when it kind of starts hitting. Every year we go trick or treating, and it's so hot in the costumes. Oh, that's so funny. Uh, and it's just like, okay, you can't wear a costume. Like telling my three kids, you can't wear a costume with long sleeves because you will die, and I will oh die. Oh my gosh, it's so hot. I didn't even think about that. You know, I didn't until <laughs> we moved here, and it became our reality. Uh, you know, maybe maybe weather is not as fall, but like you said, kids are back in school. Football is going to start up here yep. pretty soon. Are you a football person? I am. So I'm totally in like two fantasy leagues. Oh, you my are? husband loves it. I oh. love going and watching like some of the high school students play. What's your fantasy football league name? Um, uh, the first one is Your Best Life Now, mm. and then in memory of T Boeing. Nice. In memory of T-Boeing. But yep. uh, I'm in two, and both of them are what a long shot. Nice. Yeah, yeah. I, that's my that's my small attempt at being clever, and it's not. It's just I'm terrible at it. Absolutely terrible. <laughs> so good. Uh, but I totally cheat and like go look up things. Um, I don't care that much. <laughs> it's valid. That is valid. So like I like it. It's fun. I get to hang out with some guys and talk. Then and you know I'll talk trash and everything. But I'm just bad at it. And I don't. I'm not a pro football guy. I'm a college football person, and that's my southern upbringing. Totally. I would much rather watch college football, but because okay. like but like I have like a like we're a Vikings family, mm. so we go for the Vikings. But I don't have like a college team. But I like watching the college better. There you go. Uh. 
so fall is here and students are in school are and now a lot of uh, youth ministries are getting ready for the big fall kickoff. The kickoff. The kickoff. And that's normally, you know, there's a lot of people that do different things and there's a lot of a whole bunch of different ways to do it. If you've been watching Instagram at all and you follow lots of student ministries, you've probably seen tons of student ministries like uh, blasting their fall kickoff stuff. Like, mm-hmm. what do you Bring guys do? Bring out the big guns. Yeah, what do you guys do? <laughs> um, so... Normally, I would have been way more on top of this year. Oh, but you were graduating. But I was graduating, and then I was at Bachelorette Weekend, technically our kickoff date. So I wasn't even here for kickoff, really. Oh, fun. So I kind of like the weekend after became a kickoff for us. Um, But it kind of – it's a lot of normal what we do. Uh, This is the first time we're meeting a lot of the new, like, sixth graders who have been gone all summer. Yeah, now they're back. Now they're back. And so they're kind of like, what am I doing here? And so they're really afraid. And so the parents are coming in. Uh, so it's a lot of like parent conversations and just meeting them and hanging out with them. Um, normally we'll have like some sort of breakfast food um, just to have them like, you know, I love food. I think there's so many, so much conversation around food that you can have. So we'll do like either a cereal bar or we're in like donuts. And it's just like, hey, what's your favorite type of cereal? Have you ever, are you a milk first person or are you a cereal first person? I and then love, I always judge them if they're a milk first person. Uh, you ought to. I love that even your food is an intentional conversation starter. That's fantastic. Oh, absolutely. Um, and then a lot of it's just like we'll play maybe an extra game or two. Um, we always end up giving away like some sort of really random prize at the end. Which is the best. And so this year we did a pinata yes. filled with a ton of candy. You know what? I was almost hoping you were going to say something really random that it was filled with, like cotton balls. Or I know. really thought about it. And I See, was like, man, if when my sixth grader, like the brand new sixth graders got this, they might cry. You're okay. You're right. You're expecting candy. You get cotton balls. That's a, per- that's a pretty big letdown. Right? And I was like, oh, man, I can't do that to them right now. So maybe in like a couple months. Yeah. Later on. Later on. Once they're like, they know me. And once they like understand my joking style. You need something that like sounds like candy. Yes. It would have been awesome. Things that are individually wrapped, but like it's not candy. That could be. Oh my great. gosh, that'd be hilarious. I was really bummed too because one of my seventh grade boys got it. Mm. And he would have, I would have died if he like, he would have been totally fine if we did something funny. He could have handled it. So it's kind of I was like, man, that's a missed opportunity. Yeah. Well, I mean, you, n- you never know. You have exactly. to plan. You have to plan that the kid whose feelings are going to get hurt is going to win the thing. You really Exactly. Do. Ah. And so we give it away by playing a head, shoulders, knees, cup. I love that game. So, so whoever cool. wins that one wins the prize. Yes. We, uh, yeah, we did that game at our sixth grade barbecue that we just had, well, uh, maybe three weeks ago. Oh, that's and right. It was killer. I love that game because it's so easy. You need like just one package of cups from the store and a prize. Oh, it's great. Yeah. It's been the only game that I've gotten every grade to actually like enjoy playing. No, and it's it's competitive. We we had one girl almost get upset because she said, I grabbed the cup first, but then the other student like came up with the cup. And <laughs> like, okay, I understand like you might have had your hand on it, but like she's holding it. So oh, I she, love it. Yeah, so when it comes to kickoff stuff, we we have our promotion Sunday, which was like three weeks ago, and then we do like right now, we're getting ready to promote our small groups which will kick off in two weeks. Nice. That's when we kick off too, I think. Oh, yeah? So, like, is that when your small group stuff kicks off? Yeah, September 10th is ours. Oh, September 11th. Okay, fair Look at that. Hey, so, what? like, what do you do for small group kickoff? Like, anything anything big? Or do you try to, like, hey, this is what it's always going to look like, and they can kind of know? Oh, I definitely try and, like, hype it up a little bit. Yeah. Um, because for mostly, so mostly for ours, it's meet your team night. Okay. So like we call them life groups or so meet your group night and we play a lot of small group versus small group games. So oh, they're yeah. already like having to work together to like win some sort of prize. And normally it's always candy, um, because they just love candy. And yeah. so we'll give away to whatever group wins, like they get this massive bag of 200 pieces of candy to share with their group that night. Nice. Yeah. What about you guys? 
in the past, we have like gone absolutely crazy. Ooh. So, like um, four years ago, we had like 5,000 ping pong balls, which was a oh big gosh. deal. Yeah. Surprisingly, ordering 5,000 ping pong balls is not cost prohibitive. Um, you, can get <laughs> of, you can get a lot of cheap ones online. Uh, that makes sense. We did a bunch of videos about that. And then uh, the year before, the year after that, we came out with a new logo. And so we were like, we should have confetti. Yes. Which confetti is awesome for about two minutes. And so uh, you have to pick it up. Then the cleaning happens. Like the confetti, we've, this is now year three of confetti and we're still finding it. Oh, that's uh, hilarious. It's everywhere. And I mean, we went, we rented some confetti cannons and we had like a blower and we gave leaders the little pop ones you can buy at Walmart. Like Amazing. the effect was cool. And I had parents like, uh, parents t sending me pictures of their students or like, my kid's still covered in confetti. Like it was really funny. That's awesome. But like the cleanup was like, we were vacuuming for a long time. It, I mean, sense. we did not think that one all the way through. <laughs> Does anybody who ever uses like confetti, everything that went through? Uh, the second time they use confetti, they do. Mm, not that's time. true. <laughs> that's true. So last year, we just did a whole bunch of random stuff and it was cool. But like the, the theme was kind of, I don't know, it was a little disjointed and it was big. So this year we we're like, okay, what if we scaled it back? Oh. Well, so every year when we have our kickoff, last year the theme was tacos. That's what it was. We so had taco, good. taco dance parties. And that was actually, it was hilarious. But they didn't have a ton of times in their groups. Mm. So Hold on, had, go like, back. What's a taco dance party? Uh, it's when you play a video and you've got a ton of your pastors dancing uh, against a green screen. And behind them are a bunch of raining tacos. And they're, and then we send out volunteers with more and more taco stuff. Like the first Amazing. time couple of volunteers with taco hats the second time a couple volunteers with taco suits and then the last time it was people handing out tacos and taco hats taco suits and carrying giant inflatable tacos that's amazing i mean we we kind of went crazy with it that's hilarious i love everything about that it was great but we were like okay really the whole thing is hey we're kicking off small groups and then we like spent like 10 minutes in small groups because <laughs> because we were kicking off. And so this year we're trying to be like, okay, we're going to do some fun stuff. We're going to play some fun games. We're going to watch some fun videos, but we're going to try to make sure that like they start out in small groups and they actually get some small group time. Nice. And so m pushing more towards the, Hey, get to know your small group. Hey, what are games you can play in your small group? Um, so trying to like come out of the gate, making that relationship happen rather than coming out of the gate with like, the fireworks and the confetti and the ping pong balls. I love it. So, yeah, I think yeah, that's great. I don't know. We might we might debrief this thing and be like, you know what? It just wasn't as fun. We need we need to you know be explosive. Um, but this is kind of what we were trying to do this year is to say if we're kicking off small groups, we need to actually make it like small group focused. So right. we're going to see how that works out. Eh, hopefully, it'll be cool. I think I think it's going to go great. I, whenever we change stuff, I get nervous. But like, so, that's valid. Uh, so with this kickoff, I'm like, I don't know, like, hopefully, I don't, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm convinced that it's going to be worthwhile. I mean, it's not going to be as much work on our end, which is going to be nice. Yeah. And hopefully we won't be like, setting up like hours beforehand and cleaning up hours afterhand. Right. Because you want to respect your leaders as well, right? You want to respect their time. Oh, totally. And we Yeah. And so that all that all's going to go on. But it's a lot of it's going to be mostly small groups. So like get to know you questions, uh, yeah. get to, like some some icebreaker games, but all of that mm -hmm. happens like, within the small group stuff. That's so great. Really there. Yeah, I'm I'm really big, especially on that first night of like pure icebreaker. They hate them, but I think they're so great. And as much as like students hate them, they're like, we did this all the time. Well, and that's the thing, though, like that it's on purpose. Like we want to break the ice. We want yeah. you to be relational with people. Yeah, uh, I think there's even actually on Sidekick, you can get something called Break the Ice. And it's it like that. Yeah, and it's a boxes thing. And there's literally like questions within it. Okay, okay. Yeah, well, I'll find that and I'll put it on the uh, put it in the show notes. So yeah, it'll be in there. The No, and that's a great thing is you can do so many different kinds of icebreaker games. Like you can do tons of stuff from DYM. You can just Google icebreaker games and you can oh, find totally. like a ton of these things. The thing that I heard 
and that I, I think I agree with a lot is that if you can find an icebreaker game that also involves physical touch, like you can help break down a lot of barriers because, you know, and, and, you know, always making sure that it's appropriate and not too much and that, you know, right. you're encouraging play, but not requiring all that kind of stuff. It's the idea that if you can get your group physically to like put a hand on one another, like mm. that is a form of connection that will help actually connect the group. Interesting. You know, Almost like the, uh, the classic knot. Yeah. You have so to like knot. throw your hands across and you have to like unwind. Or like Pictionary, like on somebody's back in front of you, that kind of deal. Oh, um, I've never thought about that. Simple little games like that to where, um, you know, they, they are making a connection more than just talking to each other, more than finding out each other, actually making a physical connection. Um, if there's research on that, I'll try to find it. But like, that was the thing that has always been like, okay, if we can get this happening, that's another way that our, our groups can connect. Hmm. I like that. I'm not going to mess around with that. You, well, I hope that is a helpful little tidbit for you. I don't know what you guys are doing out there in podcast land, but if, if it's anything like what I've been seeing on social media here recently, it's like neon night or we're having like the bubble. We're bringing like the foam truck and then like <laughs> or food trucks or all this stuff. Let us know what you're doing for your kickoff. Uh, if you're going to like pull out all the stops and do something crazy, or if you're trying to tone it down a little bit and focus more on relationships, whatever you're doing, uh, I hope it is fantastic. And I think, the main thing that I would want to say that I would hope that you're doing with your kickoff is to have your groups form a bond, like to form a connection. Cause Absolutely. I know with us, we've got our, our new groups of middle school students and we want them to feel like, Hey, they belong to this group. They belong to the small group. So form that connection. What does that connection look like? How do you do that? That's what we're trying to do. I, I love, no, I love what you're doing, Michelle, and how you are going to try to, Uh, get your students to break the ice and to get over that. I don't know who to talk to. I don't know what to talk about. That's good stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. And I love that you guys are cutting back and you guys are kind of focusing more on small groups. Mm. Well, we can talk about how it went in a future (laughs) episode. Absolutely. Tell you if it was a train wreck or not. (laughs) That would be a fun youth pastor game. Oh boy. Yeah. (laughs) Hey guys, thank you so much for listening. As always, we greatly appreciate you. Uh, go and leave a five-star review for us on iTunes and make the one-star reviews that we got a while ago kind of go away and disappear down the down the, down the the pipeline. That'll be really nice. So thank you guys for listening. Like, subscribe, share with another middle school pastor. You guys are amazing, and we'll talk to you next week. Bye.